Hello everyone and welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mess. So, okay. So the first things first, or like, the first thing I want to try is I want to go to the goon and I want to see if I can like, I don't know, shake evidence out of people. That's kind of what I'm assuming I have to do at this point. Well, I certainly put a damper on everything. Well, you don't say. Come to think of it, this, fro this club is quite froggy indeed. Seeing Henry was nice, but I'm very much looking forward to going somewhere marvelous. Another lost crewmate. I don't know how the captain keeps it, keeps it together. Well, I guess that's why he's the captain. I'll get... Mani to help with writing a letter to jo uh, Georgian's folks. She's good with language. Everyone's upset. It's just a little blood. We can still have a good time if we... <laughs> oh dear. J uh, Jimmy, someone, something dangerous is going on. I've never felt so scared before. If I get attacked next, he'll protect me, right? This kind of violence is totally inappropriate. I don't like this. Not one bit. Or Georgian. Or Jor- Is it Georgian? Jorgen? I'm not sure how you're meant to say this. I'm not too shook up about him. I lose crewmates all the time on the high seas. That's just part of adventuring. Georgian has only been with us a short while. I remember him as a quiet guy who did his own thing. One time I asked him to pass me the butter and he stared at me for five minutes. That was just kind of the kind of guy he was. Well, he couldn't speak English as far as I could tell, so I don't hold it against him. Still, that uh, that cornbread was super dry and, and I almost choked. I know it comes after Ella, I'll clock him. Stuff's always been bad in this godforsaken town, but it just got worse. When this is all over, we've got to find a new club in a new town. That's right, Ella. We're getting out of this one-horse town. You're going to be the biggest star in the world. Also, something crossed my mind here. Okay, maybe not. I was thinking, like, if any of my forms, like, felt more female presenting, maybe they would let me in? I don't know. It was just a thought I had. I mean, a lot of these are pretty androgynous. You definitely not, though. Ah, whatever. Let's stick as the goon. I like this one. Blues are all around you. You've got to know what to look for. Give me some time to work things, uh, to work th through this. I'll crack the case. So I can't examine the body for some reason. I'm such a failure as a bouncer. I was into Ella's performance, like, um, that I was completely caught off guard. I hope she still gives me her autograph when this is all over. If Boosie's gonna freak out, that's just more alcohol for me. I'm gonna get hammered. Don't say that, Jacko. You're the best ba uh, Bassiet I've ever played with. Everything will be alright, you'll see. My brother was right. I never should have left Legato. This is a travesty. My busiest day of the year and this happens. Nobody nobody's going to want to come here anymore. You want those arms? I had to try. Splash, splash, splash! <laughs> Guppy Jr. <laughs> 
So what is it I should even be looking for right now? There's a treasure here. Can I like go into the sewer as the slime? No. Maybe there's a hole somewhere I can go down. Oh, okay. Did I just have to wait? Everyone here? Good. Before I get into uh, into a accusations, let's go over the clues I've used to reach my conclusion. The bodies. They're all torn up. I mean, look at them. Blood is everywhere. Guts are missing. Even the bones have been gnawed. This wasn't the work of some noodle-armed frog with a, with a deringer. This was done by a real brute. Clue 2, the number of victims. Since there was a second killing, that must mean that the first victim wasn't the intended one. So, who was the intended victim? Who knows? It was pitch black at the time of the murder. As far as you know, the intended victim might still be among us. Clue number 3, the murder had a flagrant disregard for tables, possibly all furniture. I'm not sure how that piece fits into the puzzle yet, probably should have kept that one to myself to be honest. Clue number 4, this is the big one. This is the clue that's gonna bust this case wide open. Are you ready? A light switch. Both of the murders took place in the dark. Since there's uh, there's only one light switch, the murderer would have had to have access to it prior to killing. As you all know, when the first murder took place, almost everyone was in the room listening to Ellis sing. However, one person was absent. That person would have had access to the light switch. The person would have turned that person would have turned off the lights. That person would have ripped the poor victims apart with their bare hands, and that person is none other than... You, Frank. What? Don't try to deny it, Frank. Everyone knows you're the local lowlife, a real thug. You've stolen cars, you've picked pockets, you've pushed kids around stolen groceries from old ladies. This is just the next step in, in your life of crime. Is that true? If that's... It's true that I did all that bad stuff, but I didn't do no murders. Uh, can it, Frank? You're going away for a long time. No? Wait, what about... What about this guy? I was nowhere near the light switch when he got killed. I'm glad you asked. Here's what I think happened. At the time of the murder, Frank was waiting for his moment in the bathroom. At the end of Ella's song, he jumped out, jumped on, turned off the lights, and proceeded to beat the first victim. He then ran back, turned on the lights, and stuck back into the bathroom to clean up um, amidst the confusion. After washing away the evidence, he returned and took a seat at the bar where he was where he was during the second murder. As you know, the second murder happened very quickly. It would have been impossible for Frank to have run across the room, turn off the light, murder the second victim, run back about us noticing. As if so, uh, as this as it so happens, the second person left the room prior to the second murder. Remember, I do. It was no other than your accomplice, Miss Dale. No, oh, Dale. My sister wouldn't hurt a fly. That may be true, Miss Ella, but uh, would um. Would she let her, uh, boy toy do the killing for her? It's my suggestion that Miss Dale turn the light off when Frank, uh, Frank quickly dispatched the second victim. Now all that's left is, uh, to arrest both murderers. Eek. Miss Dale probably should have some kind of distraction tactic. Everyone pile into the woman's restroom. Um, it's a, it's an official police business, so it's not weird. <laughs> You heard the detective. Let's see what the what the hub hub is about.
I, actually, this one's better if I'm gonna get into a battle here, and I feel like we're about to fight a boss. Oh my god. I've never been here before! <laughs> I want to do something. Okay, that faces you downwards. What would be the funniest thing to, like, have them stand next to? This might be a thumbnail shot. <laughs> I'll think of something later. <laughs> Bear are really doing it for me. Like, I really like these two. Ah, don't sneak up behind me. I've got bad news. The closet door was open when I got here. Let's check it out. B what? Oh dear, this must be Mr. Tanaka's friend. Don't worry, Jimmy. We may have a- we may not have- not have a lead, but I'm sure we'll be able to find Uncle Lars and your father. It's so weird, it's like he's a copy of me. Looks like we've got another murderer on our hands. The murderer must have come out this room so everyone was in the bathroom is innocent, including Frank. He's going to be so mad, I'm probably going to get beat up pretty badly. Guess I deserve it. Look, kid, you're free to go, but don't tell anyone about this yet. This means that the murderer is out there on the street somewhere. If you're leaving, be careful. Wait, like, just like that, we're done? Okay. It still really bothers me that you can't, like, examine as much as it looks like you should be able to. Also, we got a new shop here. Cat claws. Knockout handbag. Okay, these are exclusive to certain characters, so that, that removes some of my options, which I like. Black Spiral. Well, then let me go take out my, my money. Wait, what? Life in per perpetual night light. Wait, living in perpetual night time is doing a number on my internal clock, though. I don't know if I want to talk to that person yet. I Wait, where's the bank? Is the bank teller the murderer? I, I will go back to get more money real quick to, to purchase what I want. Is blue staff a music term? Whenever I hear the word staff, the first thing that comes to mind are like, you know, the medieval weapon. But I guess it can be like, it could refer to like a music staff too, considering what it's right next to.
Okay. Jimmy only for that. Buck only for that. I'll go only. Louis, Louis, Louis Futon. <laughs> Louis Futon. Jesus Christ. Why is that so funny? 12 and 12. I definitely want to buy that. I definitely want to buy these two. Plus one luck, plus one defense. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> I'll put it on, I guess. <laughs> put on my Lewis Futon. <laughs> you don't use magic to magic attack. And that's a flat upgrade. You use manuals too. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna... That's magical damage, so that obviously should go on you. What do your stats look like again? No, I think that's better on Jonathan. Or maybe... You know, I need something for her to do during times where she doesn't... She isn't able to heal, so maybe... She has less magical attack, but maybe that is the best thing to do. I'm gonna do that, I might as well give this to you as well. What does this do again? Immunity to sick, that, that works. Twelve and twelve, let me see what these are like. That's an upgrade there, and I don't think 5% evade is really that worth it. be 48. I think that's worth it for him. I'm gonna say that agility boost is more worth it for you. And that gives 20 defense. I think spreading out defense might be good. Okay, so we'll buy three prison suits or whatever these are called. Okay. Yeah, we do lose some utility on some of these, but I think that'll be worth it. Now it's that yeah, now that that's done, let's go back and deposit our money back. I don't know why the bank isn't available now. I <laughs> Huh? Oh, you again. Well, it's been a long time, Jimmy. When you escaped, I knew it was only a matter of time before I found you again. I just had to serve my uh, sever my ties with those useless thugs. Now I have you all to myself. Did you like the present I left you? I wanted to. I wanted very much to give you your own organs. 
Too bad they were so, uh, there were so many people there. No bother. There were no, um, there will be no escape tonight. Huh. Okay. First things first, you have nothing. Okay. Let's go to bird then. Oh no, bear. Bear. Do I outspeed you? I'm gonna use that afterwards. Do you count as undead? You don't. Okay, so Sunshine... Oh my god, Sunshine isn't as strong as it probably could be. I'm gonna bank on outspeeding you now. Let's see how much that does. And I'm just gonna have you normal attack, because you're you're kind of a resource, or you're, you're meant to like give your MP to other people. Okay, that worked out. So I do outspeed you when you have Sticky Phlegm. Mucusy Growl. What does Miasma do? You're not alerted anymore. Hold on. I don't have mental clarity on you, so we have to go to flower manually. Yeah, we'll do that. That doesn't clear Miasma. Uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe the gimmick of this fight is meant to be that you do have... Uh, you do have poison on you at all times. Is that, that, that looks like what this skill does, or what that status ailment does. Then you just attack. And you just reapply it anyway, so yeah, okay, I think I'm doing the right choice here. Comforting smile. Crush. No, your attack is lowered. I think it would be lower than whatever Helga's is supposed to be, so you attack instead, you attack too. Next turn I'll be able to swap you back to bear. Disease Claws. Sick can be removed? Okay, so this boss's gimmick is he stacks damage over time effects on you. I'm fine with recoil. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Use this instead. You attack nor- no, 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 no. Did that not apply it? 
No, it did, it did. I like that you essentially waste a turn by doing that. Yeah, okay. I think it's time to start using this. Still alerted. That's not a good heal. You use that, and then you break Jimmy back to life. Should better yet, you keep attacking, you bring Jimmy back to life, and then you use high five on yourself. Okay, just don't target Jimmy. God, uh... I can do this again. No, 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 I think you outspeed me if you don't have Sticky Phlegm, so... Comforting Smile, high five Jimmy. That's a group hit. Okay, um... That back on. Crush this turn. Comfort smile again. 20 more MP. <sighs> okay. That attack is the biggest issue with this fight. That's fine. Okay, um... I think we need some healing. I'm gonna swap to Flower and then have both Jimmy and Helga use Comforting Smile. I can slow you down, get a free turn. And you just attack. How do you not count as undead? Oh my god, this design. I think at this point it'd be more cost efficient to have Jonathan just heal whoever he needs to. That went well! For a first shot at that fight, I think that went really well. My only issue is I wish I got this EXP on the bear instead, but whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll level him up later. Was oh, that the killer? Like... Is it just me, or is there no heal spot in this town either? No, no, there we go, there we go. Wait, I... I mean, to be honest, I thought that dog was gonna be, like, the main villain or something, but we just killed him right now? Like... Where'd the private eye guy go?
Who are you? Sure. Okay, then. <laughs> You know they're going to find out, right? <laughs> the bird does not look right sleeping in the bed. <laughs> this does not look like a very nice place. My god. So you're- you're Manny, or however they're saying it. You're finally up. Something went wrong with the compass and we wound up on a strange land. I guess we were probably going to a strange land in the first place, but this land seems particularly strange. We're probably going to be stranded for a while, so you might as well go exploring. Don't worry about us, we're, we're used to traveling on our own. What easier design? Like... She looks pretty normal, but then like... You know, she it looks like she has like a like an eye mask or something, but then on the top left that looks almost like Jimmy's head. Oh, oops. Oh, there are encounters here. Okay, let's swap to I like starting with you of encounters. We were only out here for about a minute before the captain got eaten by the strange plant. Oh! It just opened its mouth and the captain bet, uh, bet me he could fit his whole head inside. Don't worry about him. I'm sure he's fine. This isn't the first time he's been eaten by a monster. Okay. There's that fish again. Why do you have arrows on you? Oh my god, syringes? What? I don't know why, but I get like space funeral vibes from this area. What the? Skeleton fob. Weird bone? Oh, this is a battle. How whimsical. You chose the wrong one. Huh? What? I was doing one damage to her, too. I need a way to break this. Not that. You're not gonna break it. Griff Tribesman. This plant can't be eat. He can't- he can eat you. Be careful. The other day I was fishing, uh, I fish a weird statues- The other day I fish weird statues in the ocean. It's really grimy and covered in barnacles. I don't complain. Griff loves garbage. Problem is, after I put in house, it started whimpering me in my nightmares. Whispering me in my nightmares. We're in perfectly good nightmare. All my stuff has been riled around too, so annoying. I'd throw out, but hard to get rid of perfectly good garbage, you understand. Oh my god! <laughs> Jimmy feels like something is watching him. I feel like a lot of stuff is watching me in this area. Dun 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 Huh? Okay, this thing is pro- I'm probably gonna get this thing, and that's probably gonna let me access those skulls and move around in them, probably. 
because it was just moving around that statue head. Nothing to grift. Well, back to bear. What are you called? Rotting jack-o'-lantern. I'd probably outspeed a ghost. And you definitely count as undead. You may resist that actually. What the heck? No, they resist physical. Okay. I get, like, Wendy the Witch vibes from this design. You guys remember that? She was, like, one of Casper's friends back in the day, like, that that old, like, series. <laughs> okay, if you resist... You're not immune to it, so I might as well, like, just... Netherworld. If this is also the, the like... I might as well have you be in heal duty if you can't do anything else. I really hope this is the unit that allows us to use, um... Well, not, not allows us to use, but the one that has, like, higher magic power. Because I feel like we're, we're overdue for the magic unit of the game. Might as well go to something more defensive. You're concentrating, I'm just gonna have you guard, because I don't know what to expect from this. Oh, that's what you're doing that, that leads to that, okay. Well, I think I get the gimmick, unless you have a desperation attack. I like how the fire says fire inside of it. <laughs> This song has, like, someone breathing in the background. It's kind of freaky. You know, one thing I do really love about this game, it feels like every continent has its own battle theme, which is something I always like to see. I don't know, ever since I played Kingdom Hearts as a kid, I always loved it when, like, every area had its own battle theme, because it just works to make them so much more unique and stand out in your head more. We got this. I don't know what Concentrate was doing. Maybe it was just a buff, I don't know. Oh, Slime leveled up. And I was right, okay. Jimmy imagines himself floating above his own grave. Oh dear, it wasn't supposed to be like this. He holds up his hands and can see right through them. He thinks he should be bummed out, but while well, he's floating, and that's pretty cool. He hovers forward using his mind. This is awesome. A sober man wearing church clothes is walking towards him. Jimmy asks him for directions, but the man just walks through him. Hey, Jimmy yells, but the man doesn't turn. Jimmy gets so mad, he swats the back of the man's head as hard as he can. The man turns around confused, but he doesn't see Jimmy. When the man starts walking again, Jimmy thinks it would be pretty funny to pull the man's pants down, so he does. The man's pants shot down to his ankles mid-step, and the man falls onto his face. That was even funnier than Jimmy imagined. He cackled and flies through the night, knocking off people's hats, opening the clo and closing doors at random, and grabbing keys when people set them down and moving them places they won't look. This has been hilarious, but he feels tired. So he floats home, thinking of all the fun pranks he can play on Buck. When he gets there, it's so late that all the lights are out. The only one that's, uh, that's still on is in the living room. Buck is probably staying up late watching horror movies. And he thinks that maybe he can make the TV change channels and freak him out. When he gets there, though, the TV is, isn't even on. It's just his mom. 
You should definitely throw a box full of Jimmy's old stuff. There's his favorite shirt. There's a baseball cap he's been wearing recently. There's a picture of his family he, he, he colored in class. His mom's fingers trace along the border of a framed picture of Jimmy when he was just a baby. His eyes are red and raw. Fat wet tears plinked onto the glass. Jimmy floats up to his empty room. He doesn't feel like playing pranks anymore. That got to me. What? Well, we got the ghost, I guess. Ignite a small fireball in front of himself. This can burn some things and illuminate dark places. That's not what I thought that was going to do. Wait, what's with the skulls then? Oh, okay, here's the next shop area, or the next area, I guess. Okay, I was going to say, please don't be another upgrade right after that. There's more stuff to buy here. One magical attack, one defense. We have Black Spiral, I think. The scriffs, are, the scriffs are interested in my stuff, but they keep trying to pay with pebbles and bones. I'm thinking I should move out pretty soon. <laughs> Funny bird. This bird. Chief's house. He's wise as Scriff. Taught we dumb Scriff not to bite human boys. Jimmy, I got some. Uh, I got off the sea worm early and found this little village. I bet you didn't even notice me on the ship. Nobody pays attention to you when you're a little mouse, so I'm a perfect stowaway. The scruff look funny and smell like their own butts, but they treat me like a distant relative. Imagine if you wanted to a village uh, with talking chimpanzees. It's pretty weird, but kind of awesome. I think I'm meant to be like rats, I guess. I was thinking they looked like like goblins almost. I don't know. <laughs> There has to be a heal point around here somewhere. There's a village right here. And this would be a good grinding spot. Let's see what the what this thing can do. Ah! This is the magic unit. Good. So what do you got? Wait, why did I unequip something? I don't know, man. Throws a fireball, 200 magic damage. Good? Interesting. That's concentrate. Instant attacks? I didn't know that was a mechanic in this game. And what are these? Natural 50% magic attack boost. It's easy to start this thin when everything I eat just passes through me. Immune to physical, can't be healed, weak to holy what? <laughs> Wait, you become like Shedinja? That's kind of broken for like certain fights probably. Can you eat me please? I, I want to see like... Do I have to be a certain form? Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess I'll fight these guys. You're definitely undead. And a necromancer. We still need some healing. That did a lot. Rusty hook. So 
So give this to a physical unit. Or that's just a flat upgrade, okay. You lost, human boy? You live in Blood Marsh with Scriff now. Any Scriff bad, but we good Scriff. I teach you how to be good Scriff. Eat bugs. Scratch back of bone. On bones. It's a good life. What I could potentially do is I could use this as a healing spot anyway. Or a grinding spot anyway. I'm mostly just looking for a place to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm probably meant to squeeze through using this. No? There's a hole in the ground. Maybe this would help? Push him. I, I have no clue what to do. <laughs> okay, you know, we'll just leave it off here. If I can find a way to grind, I will. Um, well, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.